Did you know that 3D printing technology has advanced so much that now you can print everything from custom phone cases to fully functional mechanical parts right at home? But with so many options out there, which 3D printer is actually worth your money? In this video, I'll show you the best 3D printers of 2025, covering features, print quality, and value for money, so you can pick the perfect one without wasting time or cash. Let's get started. Number 7. Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra This first model on the list goes against the current trend, where medium-sized printers are the ones offering the best functionality and resolution. It is a beacon of hope, as it features one of the highest resolution LCD screens, if not the highest available in desktop resin 3D printing. It is the best 3D printer in the Mars series to date and introduces a demanding pixel count that should translate into models with voxels as fine as 18 microns on the X and Y axes, depending on the resin and conditions, of course. Along with this advancement in terms of resolution, it introduces a leap to a new operating system for the printer, based on Linux and exclusive to the new Ultra line of Elegoo printers. This new operating system incorporates smarter features such as printer self-check, more comprehensive print diagnostics, and the ability to adjust more parameters during the printing process. A feature we always appreciate as it avoids the need to repeat the slicing process every time a model doesn't turn out quite right. When testing it, we felt that some of its functionalities were still a bit underdeveloped. Despite having Wi-Fi connectivity and a menu option to check for updates, the ability to update the machine over the air, a standard for many printers, did not work. Setting aside these minor complaints, it is the reliable printer we expect from Elegoo's Mars series, but better. It's true that there are no new systems or magical tools to make printing easier. It's the same tool as always, just a bit more refined. And for its adjusted price, we have no complaints. Elegoo seems to have found some secret formula to manufacture its machines economically, allowing them to continue selling older yet still excellent printers at very low prices and their new flagship models at highly competitive prices, as in this case. Number 6. Anycubic Photon Mono M5S When it hit the market, this model seemed like a desktop resin printer from another species, introducing print enhancement features we've only seen in filament 3D printing over the last two years. Equipped with a sensor mounted on the gantry of the print plate, this printer can detect the peel force of prints, resin level, and tank bottom to effectively automate and enhance your printing experience. During testing, we didn't find it to be flawless, but even if this system achieved only half of what it does, it would still make this model our preferred choice over all other desktop 3D printers we've had the chance to test recently, even considering its slightly higher price than the previous model. Not forgetting that all this is housed in a compact structure, this one is a bit larger than other 3D printers we consider small. It's ready to use right out of the box. Just let it run a brief self-checklist before starting to create prints at high speeds. These speeds are possible thanks to the tank film, made of an alternative material that allows prints to release easily, and a less viscous resin that works better for fast prints. We won't deny it, a bit of mischief playing with layer thickness is worth noting. You can print quickly with the Photon Mono M5Fs using standard resins. However, truly dizzying print speeds are only achieved with specific fast materials and by sacrificing some quality on the Z-axis. Other highlights include a 12K masking LCD screen, which translates to extremely small pixels for very fine print resolution. The M5's Wi-Fi capabilities pair perfectly with the updated slicing software and Anycubic's companion app. All of this allows you to start prints remotely, check the printer's status and statistics, and access user guides and troubleshooting tips. It's a surprisingly pleasant app experience, which strongly contrasts with Creality's ad-saturated equivalent. It's a fast and compact printer with a medium-sized build space and various levels of functionality that other printers can't match. Number 5. Frozen Sonic Mega 8K's resin 3D printing can be messy and dirty, especially when dealing with huge print plates and resin tanks that require both hands to handle. Fortunately, the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K's greatly contributes to making this chaos manageable, with a particularly user-friendly design and a pre-calibrated print plate, allowing you to start using your printer right out of the box. Even though it's the most expensive model on this list, so far, it represents significant savings compared to its predecessor, the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, while introducing several user comfort improvements, including a hinged lid that slides easily over the printer. There's a conveniently placed hook to hang the print plate, letting the resin drip back into the tank before you remove the print and proceed with cleaning. 
Its print plate comes pre-calibrated, meaning once you've taken the nearly 30 kilograms machine out of the box and placed it where you need it, call a friend. It's a team effort. You'll be more or less ready to fill it with resin and start printing, as long as you already have a slicer and all the necessary material settings. Additionally, it comes with an ACF film as standard, allowing you to print quickly at the cost of shortening the film's and LCD screen's lifespan. In this context, quick applies to the transition speeds between layers, making the printer's movement stages happen rapidly. The film gently releases the previously cured layer, preventing the tension of the process from ruining the print. After a few weeks of printing with it, our main criticism really boils down to a peculiarity that might be specific to our printing conditions. The large green plastic lid seems to hold a static charge that attracts resin drips. This overload likely occurs when removing the tight wrapping used to protect the lid during shipping. Frozen recommends users clean the lid with isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel before use. In short, it's a large format resin 3D printer, easy to handle and very practical for big projects. Number four, FlashForge Adventurer 3 printer. Alongside offerings from Bamboo Lab and Creality, this printer belongs to the FDM 3D printer group, meaning it prints using plastic filaments that are heated into liquid form and then deposited layer by layer to create the desired object. Its enclosed design makes it practically ready to use right out of the box. All you need to do is add the filament. The manufacturer includes a sample. To do this, go to the right side of the printer, remove the panel, and find a small hole where the filament is inserted. It's automatically fed into the machine. First, you'll need to turn on the 2.8-inch color touchscreen, press the filament load button, and wait a few moments for the extruder to heat up. One notable feature of this nozzle is its removable design, which allows you to use different filaments, such as ABS, if you need to exceed the 240 degree Celsius limit of the default nozzle. The tests we conducted went well, and the results were satisfactory though. Like all 3D printers, it requires a slight learning curve. The only downside is that it's a bit slower than others. Interestingly, it includes a built-in camera that lets you monitor the printing process remotely to ensure everything is running smoothly. Other noteworthy features include flash print software, cloud printing with flash cloud, USB, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet connectivity, a build volume of 150 by 150 by 150 millimeters, and support for file formats like 3MF, STL, OBJ, and FPP, among others. Number three, Elegoo Mars 3 Pro. This is a resin 3D printer known for its ease of use. It comes mostly pre-assembled, and the only part you need to add is the build plate, following the instructions in the manual. Although the manual is in English, it's quite easy to understand. Calibration isn't too complicated, even for those unfamiliar with this type of machine. With a compact design, 438.5 by 227 by 227 millimeters, it features a touchscreen interface with tool, system, and print buttons for managing its functions. Below the display is a USB port for the included memory stick, which contains sample files for test prints. You'll need to install software on your computer to configure settings like layer thickness and import 3D modeling files, which must be in STL format. It's fast and delivers high quality results, even in fine details. This positive user experience is enhanced by its 6.6 inch monochrome LCD screen with a resolution of 4,098 by 2560 pixels and its COB light source, which uses 36 UV LEDs to help cure the resin sold separately. As an added bonus, it includes a small air purifier to reduce the smell of resin. Number two, Ender V2 Neo. Two of its most important features are an advanced hotend, which improves cooling, and an automatic leveling function for more precise calibration, something less experienced users will appreciate. Additionally, its build plate design and the metal structure of its extruder promise high durability. Since it comes mostly pre-assembled, the setup process takes no more than 15 minutes using the included tools and screws following the instructions. You'll need to assemble the structure that supports the X, Y, and Z axes, adjust various parameters, and preview the 3D model before printing. The interface isn't touchscreen, so you'll use a convenient knob to navigate. The cables are labeled, making it easy to know where each one goes. It comes with a memory card containing sample files for test prints, as well as Creality Slicer software, which lets you customize settings like layer height, temperature, and infill, and work with models you design or download from other sources before sending them to the printer. It supports STL, AMF, and OBJ formats. Number one, Beak B1. 
This model stands out for its value for money. It features low noise levels, a build volume of 235 by 235 by 270 millimeters, a modular hood end, a filament sensor, a power loss recovery system, dual fan cooling, and RGB lighting integrated into the hood end. These are just some of the features of this 3D printer, which, like its competitors, delivers high quality, durable prints. However, assembling the parts is a bit more complicated compared to others, even though the instructions seem straightforward at first. On the other hand, calibrating the machine was easier than expected. A special mention goes to the 3.5-inch color screen, which significantly improves the user experience. The interface, menu layout, and parameter settings are all very intuitive, even for first-time users. The results are good, though compared to other models, there are areas for improvement to make 3D prints look even better. It supports two types of connections, offline, where the sliced file is saved to a TF card, and online, where the printer connects to a computer via a data cable to work with slicing software, which converts 3D models into a language the printer can understand. For testing, we use the free software Ultimaker Cura. And there you have it, the best 3D printers of 2025. Now you know which ones offer the best quality, features, and value for your money. If this video helped you, leave a like and subscribe for more tech recommendations that are actually worth it. And let me know in the comments, what would be the first thing you'd print with your new 3D printer? See you in the next video.